Um, I'm gonna put that lingerie on because Joe's coming over and that's it. It's, it's your right to have this sexual experience. Someone's helped to, to get to that place. If you're more comfortable with um, that person holding the mic asking your question, feel free to kind of relay that. We, we, we hold people on the spectrum and with other to higher standards we hold ourselves. And it's like sometimes you did I curse tonight? Sometimes you just want to you know? <laughs> when we talk about sexuality, especially with autism, not just safety, not just keeping people safe, but empowering people, teaching them about their bodies, about what they like, so they're not relying on others for that and getting into potentially dangerous situations. It forces you to uh, not follow the script. How, how do you um, tell your home attendant or how? How do you get intimate with someone when you need help to maybe change and do a piece of lingerie or like position yourself in bed? For a lot of folks on the spectrum, one of the barriers can be sensory issues. You know, people don't like to be touched or have issues with certain types of touch or, you know, that, that you know, the, the intimacy in, involved in that can be overwhelming. You know, so say you can't do penis and vagina. Like you can have sex in tons of other ways and people don't know that. Sometimes these forums that I know of about sex and disability are on websites that sort of cater to like BDSM and fetish and sort of non-traditional relationships, which I think is like probably a negative that you can find great partners through that. Uh, a sex surrogate is essentially someone, a, a sex worker who uh, enables somebody with a disability to have sex. Oh, right, like you, someone yes. who... Right. It's, it's a medical... Really. Yeah, who has enough understanding who can like you know you said like position someone on a bed that they want to you know the way that they want to be positioned or they can deal with a medical equipment but in the u.s it's it's like it's considered prostitution and illegal to pay for for sex that's problematic because it can be a really helpful thing it's important to remember that it's not bad or sad to have an experience with a sex worker. I think that that's something that we really need to challenge. There's a whole other way to look at it. Like this is a person who is there for you to learn. We used to start talking about this earlier and, and more openly, you know, and that people are sexual beings and it's cool.